Hi, this is Nigel Galt, Managing Director of Olympic Limited, and welcome to this short video to show how you set up a Google Search API key and a Google Search Engine identifier. Um, you will need both of these credentials to use our new adding, uh, which is called Google Search Plus for My Manager. Um, on the Google Search Plus help map, you'll be have uh, links to both the sites that you'll need to visit. Um, the first one is for the API key which is here and the second one is for the custom search engine ID which is here. So we'll start with the API key. When you first go to uh, the link you'll see this page which is the Google developers page. You obviously need to have a Google uh, account in the first instance as well. When you visit this page if you scroll down um, you'll see that there's a link here to what's known as the Google API console. So what you need to do is click that link and then you'll then be presented uh, with the console uh, which if you've never used before will be uh, empty, there'll be nothing in it. Um, you may see this page come up which is the actual library or you may first be presented with the dashboard. Okay. Um, basically what you need to do here is to go to the library and what you're looking for is the custom search API which is under the other popular APIs heading so what we're going to do is we're going to click that and it'll tell you uh, that you need a project okay so what we're going to do is create a project uh, so we go like that create project and we'll just call this Olympic demo okay so it creates an ID for you um, probably not best to get spammed with all the um, emails and then obviously agree to the terms click create and then that should create a project which will appear in the dashboard bear with me the internet's a little bit slow today in fact it's a lot slower than I thought or perhaps it's Google. Okay, so we've now got the uh, project created which you can see up here, Olympic Demo. Uh, so now we're going to enable the custom search API. Okay, so the API is enabled but you can't use it in a project until you create credentials, okay? So this is where we are. This is a um, an overview of the traffic that goes through or the transactions that go through the API requests. So you'll be able to see whether you hit the Google maximum of 100 requests um, per day for this particular API. So once that's done, uh, click on the top right to go to credentials. And then you'll see what you got. So we've got which API you're using. We're using a custom search API. Where will you be using? Where will you be calling the API from? Um, so in this, you'll be calling it from uh, Windows. So you want to click on Other for Windows. Okay. And then what credentials do I need? So you have create an IP server key one. Okay. We'll keep it as uh, fact. What I'll do is just call that. Google search key one then we click create API key and there it is there's your key so what we need to do now is take that I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to just drop that into an open document so I've got it ready uh, click done and then you'll see your new API key listed here uh, tells you what type it is, when you created it and also gives you a section of the key there. Um, and that's all you need to do to create that key which you will then put into the credential section of the Google Search Plus add-in. So that's the first one. Uh, please check the second video which will show you how to set up the Google Custom Search Engine Identifier. Um, so watch that and then once you've got that you'll have both credentials that you're going to need to use this new add-in.